Hey everybody, it is late at night and I am Norman. I have a file of watch brands and watches that are new to me this month. It is becoming untenable. So tonight I want to dust that file off, share those with you so that I can clear it out and start all over again. So let us begin. <laughs> As I go through this list, remember that each of these brands and watches are new to me, so I apologize ahead of time for any mispronunciation that I make in the rest of this video. Feel free to correct me in the comments, that is always super helpful. The first item on my list is a watch brand called Helbros, and I really hope that that is how their name is pronounced, because that is how I'm going to pronounce it. Because Helbros just sounds so weird. So Helbros was an American watch company, founded in 1913 and trademarked in 1916. It was created by the Helbine brothers and headed up by William Helbine, who came to America in 1911 and he actually became a US citizen the same year their company was trademarked. He began his career as a diamond importer, following in his father's footsteps. Later, he became a watch assembler. William utilized print and radio, and later on television, to get his watches into the hands of American citizens. They were sold in brick and mortar shops, as well as through catalog orders and the watches were sold at a wide range of price points. He was a major player in the American Watch Assemblers Association, and at the time of his death, the company was extremely successful. Sadly, after his passing, the company slowly faded away, dying out in the 1970s. Attempts have since been made to revive the brand, but so far, all have failed. All the images of these watches featured in this video came from sales of vintage Helbros watches, and the URLs are now dead, so sadly I cannot give attribution to them because they're just dead links in an image search. In the description below, I've included a link to an article on Helbros on ForgottenWatchBrands.com. This was the source for the information in this video, so be sure to check that out for the full article. The next item on my list is another watchmaker called Bedat & Co. And when you go to their website, which has serious issues by the way, I mean you click on a watch to see its details, and a few seconds after it comes up, the page changes to a slideshow with a brief write-up on women of character. I mean, I'm not sure how you actually buy watches on their website. Anyway, you'll see that all the watches there are for women. They're unique, fun, and luxurious. And not all of them have the bling trappings that you see so often in women's watches. What's so cool is that the pieces that are blinged out have non-blinged out variants of them available. I really love this company's designs. They are so great. If you are a woman or wear women's watches, I definitely recommend giving this company a glance. I've included a link to their website in the description below, as well as links to the images that I've presented in this video. I have another watchmaker on my list, the brand Anordain. Anordain is a watchmaker after my own heart. Their pieces are minimalistic, no date window. Their Model 1 features a textured gradient dial, unique hands, and large numeric hour markers, as well as a minute track 
that calls out minutes numerically in five-step increments. These remind me of my favorite Corona Tokyo watch, the Grand Akane. These watches sell for just under $3,000. Their Model 2 features hollowed markers and unique hands similar to the Model 1. There are numeric hour markers on the even hours and hollowed battens on the odd. There's no date complication and the dial is enamel, at least according to the text on the dial. I've included a link to Anne Ordain's website in the description below. Be sure to check them out. The next item on my list is another watch brand, Pequenier. I think that's right, it's French. But this brand features super unique, super classy designs. And in my opinion, it's so sad that they give all of their pieces a date window. I realize that many people out there appreciate this complication, but I feel like this dressy, classy style watch without a date window would have really elevated these watches to the next level. They sell for about $1,500, and the brand also has a super exaggerated fliegery style chronograph. I've included a link to their website in the description below so you can check them out as well. Next up is another watch brand. Wait a minute. Everything I have on my list, except for the last one, is a watch brand. So I guess I only have one watch and a bunch of brands this month. This next brand is Code 41, and Code 41 is a super unique watch brand. They're currently selling their pieces via pre-order, pieces like their NB24 Chronograph, which is a multi-layered, partly skeletonized dialed watch. The hands are super modern, and the left and right sub-dials are tucked away behind a tough-looking, really tech bridge of sorts. They're super sci-fi looking. They have a 41 millimeter case and feature 100 meters of water resistance. These sell for about $3,500. And if you love that ultra modern look, definitely check them out. I put a link to their website in the description below. The next brand on my list also puts out really tech looking watches. And this brand is Ming. Ming watches are so cool. They're super tech. They feature hollowed hands and a ring around the dial interrupted by batten markers. On the even markers, they're doubled up with a blank gap in between them. The 12 o'clock marker is a hollow zero. And they feature a nice 38 millimeter diameter case and they're only 6.9 millimeters in height. Such great dimensions. And to make it even better, inside these watches is a Ming version of the good old ETA 7001. However, these appear to be sold out, and from what I can tell, there's no plans to reissue them. So I'm not sure what the future of this brand is, but... I've included a link to their website in the description below. Okay, I have one more watch brand before we get to the finale. And that brand is Cool M. Or is it Cool M? No, I'm definitely pronouncing it Cool M. These watches were designed for the Explorer. They feature a stylized world map on the dial. They have a 40 millimeter case and inside of them is the ETA 2893-2 GMT movement. They sell for about $1,100. And these are so cool because from a distance, they look like classic watches, but when you get up close to where you can really see that map, they're definitely modern in style. Check those out. I've put a link to their website below. We've arrived at the finale. There are two new Swatch Watch designs. 
The Enigma and the Keep Turning. I love Swatch and these new designs are so great. They both feature exposed Day-Date wheels that are only obscured by a bare minimum of supporting dial elements. The major difference between the two is size. One of them is in the new gent size, which is about 40 millimeters, and the other is in the classic gent size of about 34 millimeters. These are so awesome, you have to check them out. I've included a link to them in the description below. Thank you so much for letting me unload this information, and thanks for watching.